Hello. Today I'm going to go through an example of doing a problem using energy bar charts. So the situation, or, and so energy bar charts are a way to describe the energy transformations uh, in some scenario. So in this situation, I am looking at a wind-up toy that is wound and moving across the ground, and it is speeding up. So these are the three points I'm going to use as my snapshots, the very beginning, the middle, and the end. So I like to think about uh, one snapshot at a time. So at A, this toy is not moving very fast. So it's going to have some kinetic energy because it's moving, but it's not going to have a lot. So I just drew one block. Now, as a wind-up toy, I know there must be some kind of spring inside. And when that spring is wound really tightly, uh, it's going to be storing a lot of U.S. So I drew several blocks for my U.S. It doesn't matter exactly how many I draw. The main thing that's going to matter is the pattern or the trend that I show. All right, so now when I think about this next point, point B, here the toy has sped up. So I'm going to draw two blocks of kinetic energy. Because this toy is moving faster, it must uh, have gained a little bit of kinetic energy. And this is partly where using blocks instead of just using simple bars can be really useful. Because it makes it really easy to compare and show that I meant to draw that bar in B. It's taller than the bar in A. Now if I think about the U.S., as that spring unwinds, there's going to be a little bit less spring potential energy. So I showed that getting lower. And then last of all, I'm going to add a little bit of EDIS. A wind-up toy makes quite a bit of noise, so it's a pretty reasonable assumption that there's some energy that's being dissipated as this toy unwinds. The last thing I'm going to do is check the total number of blocks that I have. At A, I drew five blocks, which represents some amount of energy. How much doesn't really matter to us at this point, but it represents a certain amount of energy. At B, I also drew five blocks of energy. And so that's a way of showing that the amount of energy at A is the same as the amount of energy at B. So then at C, this toy has sped up even more. So I showed an increase in kinetic energy. It also had a chance to dissipate some more energy. So that E dis must have gone up. And E dis, it can always go up as more energy gets transformed into things like sound or heat. But we can never, or at least under the circumstances we're paying attention to, we can't transfer it back to other forms like kinetic energy or potential. Now, that leaves me to think about my U.S. With the way I drew this, I already have five blocks of energy, three kinetic and two EDIS. And so that means with the way I drew it, there must not be any U.S. left. And so I'm doing an X to show that I've thought about that, I've paid attention to it, and decided that I'm going to treat it as if that spring is completely unwound at C. It would be totally reasonable to draw this a little bit differently in a way where you would show some U.S. at the end, showing that that spring hasn't completely unwound yet. It's still got some tension in it. So then the last step is to do this conservation of energy equation. And here it says A to C. So that means I'm going to use A and C as my two snapshots. So what I'm writing out is that the total of all of the energy present at A has to equal the total of all of the energy present at C. So at A, I've got some kinetic energy plus some elastic potential. And so I'm putting little A's after those types of energy, just to indicate I'm talking about the kinetic energy at A and the elastic potential energy at A. And so now 
I've listed in this equation both all of the energy that's present in my bar chart at A. I want to do the same kind of thing at C. With the way I drew my bar chart at C, I've got some kinetic energy, so I'm going to label that with a little C subscript. And then I've got some EDIS, and I'm adding a little C to indicate it's the EDIS at C. And so that would be my conservation of energy equation.